Welcome guys, welcome to another video from the La Casa de Sesor Nicaragua. I'm David Pastran, your uh, automotive technician. And today I'll show you on a Hyundai Accent Blue 2016 um, how to perform a test on the BVT system. The variable bulb timing. It's a control, electronic control that goes directly to the camshaft we got here a, a rash that works with oil pressure and this bulb right here is doing the job through a pulse BPW that comes directly from the ECU so here in the scanner we can check on the uh, live data and we were looking for the data that comes from the camshaft sensor. We got two camshaft because it is a, a twin control in the exhaust cam and the intake cam. So here we're looking for the, there is a variable camshaft pack if it's uh, active on this car. Yes, it is. And here the, the face in advance. This has to do with the electronic advance spark. Electronic spark advance. Back in the days, we were using distributors or Delcos that comes directly to the camshaft or to the crankshaft. And that, that was the way that the spark was uh, Suministered to each cylinder, but now we got these sensors. We got a knock sensor that comes in the middle of the engine between the cylinder two and three. We got this camshaft position sensor on this on this vehicle. They, we got two of, of them, and the control of the camshaft variable timing that comes with these uh, solenoids or bulbs. We got two right in the south another in the intake here's the intake we got the control here and here we got both on the south and the intake so here we're looking for those data thank you guys for around the world to uh, supporting these kind of videos we are doing it with so much passion and love and uh, I hope it's understandable there's a lot of there's a lot of data on this vehicle but we are only required of the advance electronic advance and here it is in intake camshaft bank one actual position exhaust camshaft bank one actual position and here we can see the phaser it is a duty which which means the the time of the of the signals that comes to the solenoid it's activated in cam intake camshaft bank one actual position 33 degrees and the exhaust is minus 19 degrees six percent of the duty cycle which means the the time that the signal is activated we will start the engine and see how how is this uh, data will change due to the circumstances of the engine condition we'll start the engine in the upper side of the scanner we got the oxygen sensor signal and here we can see at uh, 33 degrees there's no change there's a slightly change on the exhaust cam bank one actual position 
and there's no change on the uh, percentage of the duty cycle. So we will accelerate, accelerate the vehicle to 2000 RPMs. Three thousand. Okay, there's a data here that here is 33 degrees. We're gonna sweep away the uh, electronic acceleration to the throttle body. Okay, the control is is doing it now through these solenoids. So we will see what happens if I unplug this solenoid. What happened with the adjustment? This is intake camshaft. Thirty-three percent, and we will do rapidly swap away. Accelerating the vehicle. There's no adjustment at all. This number doesn't change. That is because the computer cannot do any change on the position of the variable timing. Kamchaf and that's because we already disconnected or unblocked this solenoid. So that is the importance of this control. It will give you more economy, fuel economy. The fuel consumption is gonna lower it. And already the light comes out from the mill malfunction indicator lamp. The check engine lamp is uh, it's going to be on after a few hours of driving condition without this electronic advance spark advance control. So next time you are doing a diagnostic on this system, always pay attention to this data because it is the, the data that the, com the computer is uh, working on. Thank you guys for attending these videos. I hope it can help you to do the job. Wherever you are, we are here in Nicaragua, sending greetings to all of you and doing our best to communicate our knowledge on these systems. God bless you and see you next time.